Hi, good afternoon. This is Ira Sahai back again. I'm a D-Life certified metabolic health coach. I'm also a D-Life member and uh, it's media head. I have with me my friend and my colleague, a D-Life member, Harshil Subankar. Harshil is also certified through D-Life in low-carb nutrition and metabolic health. A bit of introduction on Harshil. He's a finance professional who has studied nutrition and is doing some ongoing biochemistry research for metabolic syndrome and cancer as his passion. Harshil is a proud member of D-Life community where he has done his diploma in low-carb nutrition and metabolic health. He's also a certified sports nutritionist and a functional nutrition uh, has a functional nutrition certification as well. He has founded the Nutrition Lab, which is focused on research, evidence-based nutrition, and specializes in sports nutrition and metabolic disorders like diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia, and cancer. Harshil's work has been tremendous and as a certified metabolic health coach, let's welcome him and hear it from him. Harshil, welcome and so good to have you today. Thanks, thanks, Ida, for the kind introduction. Yeah. So, Harshil, please tell uh, our viewers, how did you come into nutrition and how did you find D-Life? Right. So, I came into nutrition incidentally because, you know, uh, I, I always had interest in medicine as a, as a subject. Uh, although I'm not a biology student, I've studied finance and commerce, but, you know, I had that interest in me, which led me to a lot of reading in, in medicine and, you know, other things. And I was always interested in pharma, etc. Then I uh, dwelled uh, uh, into more into uh, some relatives case on diabetes, you know, and then I just started finding out and I learned that, you know, diabetes is most mostly a nutritional disease and, you know, a low carb kind of a, uh, intervention generally helps very quickly for a remission of a patient and you know it can also lead to a reversal in many cases if done through a very structured program so with that you know i started reading a lot of papers you know and then you know i, I dwelt uh, more into it and i uh, i wanted to write and i'm uh, writing on it as to how should one predict that you know somebody will get type 2 diabetes because what happens is generally people do their tests uh, when and they know that they have diabetes but how do actually people know and i think that is uh, what, you know, the life course also uh, dwells more into, which I'll come to. So over that course, you know, I met uh, uh, Shashi and, uh, and, you know, just spoke to uh, Shashi also once or twice. And, you know, uh, I was introduced to them by on, on this course. And I really liked the course and I enrolled myself, you know, uh, to, to this course, you know, along with my other readings that I used to do. You know, then I took up d -Life's course in low-carb nutrition, which was exactly... Uh, pressing their finger where it hurts, you know, uh, that exactly, you know, a low carb kind of an intervention and, you know, for a metabolic syndrome, what should one do? What should one do? So, you know, that was largely where I got into this course while doing the, the anecdotal studies, etc. that what I've been doing and, you know, uh, uh, reading up on other stuff. Oh, very interesting, Harshan. And uh, the point uh, to be noted here is that we now have about, including Harshan, we now have 11 uh, of our D-Life members who are also certified in sports nutrition and human performance nutrition. You know what I think Herschel is also trying to make a point here is that, uh, you know, despite having a certification and training in sports nutrition, he still felt the need to learn metabolic health. Because uh, as I said, now we have 11 people who have already, who are already certified, but felt the need to, you know, work on metabolic uh, issues. And without the certification, you know, probably they wouldn't have been, uh, you know, trained and certified to do that. Harshil, would you like to add something to that point? Why do sports nutritionists and human performance nutritionists need to do this course? Yeah, of course. Is See, all of this thing is very, very closely correlated. You know, it is uh, largely bioenergetics. Bioenergetics meaning how our body utilizes energy from carbohydrate, protein and fat. You know, in general, what has been... Uh, uh, been known and advised to people at least in sports also that you know you consume a lot of glucose but people forget that you know you have a fat reserve which is the triglycerides which can be tabbed which has unlimited potential of energy like let's say if you have 60 grams 100 grams of carbs or sugars at that or glucose or any of the gels that you have you know that has a limited potential but if let's say athletes get them to train and get fat adapted those athletes are generally seen to be more uh, having more energy, having more endurance, for, at least for endurance sports like, you know, long distance cycling, triathlons, you know, many of the athletes who changed from a normal uh, approach, you know, which was uh, given earlier to a, to a very low carb approach, 
you know have been seeing success they have won gold medals they won olympics they have broken their own records so which is why it is very important to understand bioenergetics at a human level so it's not that you know a low carb nutrition course will only help you heal diabetics or that knowledge will help you see a certain set of potential people but it is also the normal subset and at least the athletic subset also is what you can know more about as to how the energy is utilized within the body and how should one do in fact many of the la lead sports scientists in the world have went on record and said that you know we were wrong that you know people should consume glucose you know look at the fat reserves that one can do that and fat oxidation as a whole can provide more energy for an athlete when he's doing sports so you know uh, along with a lot of nuances of course which uh, maybe you know people once they do the course they will understand is to know as to how this works and how the system can enhance performance for athletes also apart from people who are metabolically affected or are going to get metabolically affected yeah wonderful yeah. explanation there and i think that gives a lot of clarity on on the you know issue that we wanted to discuss ashil now that you've completed the course and you already completed the course you're a certified uh, metabolic health coach from the life please tell us something about the course how did you find it and what what are the things that you loved about the course yeah sure so so one thing that you know you uh, do like about any course or something let's say you know you go to howard you go to stanford or maybe you even go to iim so right is what is more most compelling or the most important thing is how are your colleagues who are studying with you how are your seniors and how is that community that community is what matters so you know why because you know you learn from them you know what is happening or not of course i am not saying that the course itself is not but the course itself is very meticulous in details it gets you back to the fundamentals of what one should learn you know in fact i think that you know there are many doctors who also registered for the course because the course dwells so much more into the fundamentals it gives you the building blocks so any good course will give you the building blocks over the building blocks you build it yourself in terms of how you read how you study how you apply that knowledge and over and above that you know if you were to build a full pyramid the over and above that comes community in terms of what others are learning so you know especially you know people will have access to forums if i'm not wrong you know uh, people still get access to that forums with the course in the forum you can learn about the course uh, in terms of what people are teaching other patients etc so you know how are the other patients so some let's say you know if i am a student i post in a query you know like ira is an expert in maybe uh, 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 in, in uh, psoriasis you know so you know i i will learn that what ira is doing to people what ira is recommending people can post their routes seniors post again back so all of that builds a very cohesive community and helps people learn more secondly what happens is that you know uh, people can so if people are expected to do some internship build a kind of a recipe etc you know so they learn how to build these low carb kind of a uh, uh, kind of recipes and how to build this low carb nutrition and guide people as to what needs to be done so essentially uh, that is uh, also important the third thing is, which is important is basically on the forum itself you find historically so you can have access to the historic q and a's of people you see how what people have done for other patients and hear their success stories you know just like you know in medicine when doctors go into a school they learn about you know what is happening uh, what are the earlier cases and you know if this was this this what is what what, what was the solution for this so exactly these these forums become very important and uh, just at the cost of repetition the course material itself is very meticulously made and you know it is a kind of a, a power house of knowledge that one can get access to by enrolling over here yeah i think uh, harshil has covered the forum support part but just to extend uh, uh, you know to what he said uh, the course also gives you free access to 10 years of curated data which we call the forum and dlife has been existent since 2014 so all this data has been built over a period of 10 years that has 3000 uh, plus uh, success stories so if you search a thread or you want to initiate a discussion on say fatty liver and you will get the old cases and how they were handled plus you can initiate a new dialogue and initiate a new thread wherein you can post your uh, lab work you can post any other guidance that you may need on that you can go back to referring to 2000 plus uh, recipes that are listed there by members and these are original recipes keto and low carb so you can use that so it's huge data that comes free with the course itself 
and um, uh, Harshil, tell me now, <clears throat> now that you're legally certified and uh, are you handling um, clients as well? And please do talk about a recent case that you handled in which you saw, um, you know, significant success and how that was a cancer case, I guess. And would you want to mention about that a bit? So I, you know, I generally help uh, take take clients, you know, given that, you know, professionally I'm a, uh, I, I practice finance, you know, I uh, take clients on, on a pro bono basis generally. So uh, when I take these clients, you know, I, I just guide them in, in, in terms of what needs to be done from a metabolic perspective. So from a cancer perspective, you know, I'm also doing some research on cancer. Like, you know, I told that I'm writing on how to predict type 2 diabetes or the metabolic syndrome. You know, cancer also is a metabolic disease is what, you know, I came across and then started writing on cancer. So I'm helping a couple of cancer patients now and they are seeing good progress in terms of the remission, basically, you know, along with adjunct therapy that happens on the uh, on the allopathy side, which is the chemotherapy or, you know, you know, targeted therapy, you know, low carb nutrition, you know, or ketogenesis or keeping a client on a keto diet, you know, all, always helps in terms of remitting the remission of the cancer because cancer is very smart. And, you know, you need to battle it around fully. You know, if you cover that, uh, the, the entire scope, you know, you will be able to weaken the cancer itself and uh, provide some victory over it. When we mention a remission, you know, we mean that, you know, the cancer cell has not started growing. So it's not basically multiplying itself and you've made it weak. So we are seeing that kind of a success in some of the clients that I'm handling, uh, or clients or cases. And, you know, uh, metabolic cases, you know, uh, are generally where, where, you know, I've seen a lot of success, you know, like uh, we just posted a success story with D-Life where, you know, day 18, you know, PPBS, which is post prandial blood sugar, 140, 323 is below 100 and he's still maintaining. So, you know, just in fact, a few days back, I received a call from a, a renowned cardiac surgeon and you know, he said that, why don't you take my cases, you know, given the success that he saw with some of my cases. So that's the kind of power that, you know, you can build. And of course, you know, this knowledge is, uh, as impressive as it can be, you know, uh, for, for someone who can utilize it uh, properly. And if as a community as a whole, if you're being able to help people, you know, touch their lives in this manner, it's 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 very uh, applauded. Harshil, if anybody wants to reach out to you, how can they reach you? Yeah, so I have my Twitter handle, that's T Nutrition Lab. I have my Instagram page, The Nutrition Lab Official, or they can write to me at harshil at the nutrition lab .in. And they can reach out to me. Wonderful. So the last question, Harshil, would, what would your advice be to people who are looking at uh, doing a low carb nutrition course? And uh, what will you say to our prospective enrollees or those who want to take a decision regarding this course? Yeah. So first of all, you know, of course, uh, for joining any course, there is a fee involved. Uh, so don't consider it as an PNL item. Don't consider it as an expense. Consider it as an investment. So, you know, if you think of it as an investment rather than an expense, you know, things become much more easier because it's an investment and you'll be getting returns onto it by way of knowledge, by way of maybe revenue if you start taking money from clients and if you're handling clients and by the satisfaction of healing someone, you know, that's that's the kind of investment that you're doing. So, you know, look at the course from that perspective and of course the support from the senior community members, which is there. And like Ida explained the entire forum concept. So that is, think of it as an investment that uh, one is making. And once you take in the course, dwell deeper, read properly, complete the, the, the readings assignment. There are additional readings which are given, which is only for you uh, to be able to get more knowledge. And, you know, someone has already called out, you know, if you read this, this will happen. If you read this, you'll be able to know this, etc., etc. So do read in some of these books. It just helps you enhance your knowledge itself and become a better uh, nutritionist or a coach when you start uh, counseling your clients. So that is what maybe I'll tell all the prospective employees. Yeah, and just not the, uh, just not coaches. I mean, I was just talking to Dr. Rekha Kunur before you. She's a mainstream doctor and she's right. completed her course and she was just telling me how through low-carb nutrition and metabolic health course, she's been able to benefit so much and also now is passing on the benefits to her colleagues and seeing great outcomes in her patients. Our mainstream doctors enrolled with us are now 24. So what um, Harshil is saying is absolutely right. Do it for yourself. It's not just, you know, you don't, you don't have to be necessarily monetizing it. But if you do, that's a great career opportunity as well. But do it for yourself. It's, it's an investment into your healthy future. So just to wind up with a 
little bit of information on the course itself. We are the largest content on low carb nutrition and metabolic health in the world. We have 800 plus reference uh, references in the course itself, 200,000 plus words, 60 plus relevant videos, this lifetime access to the course. So, um, you know, once you have uh, the course access, it stays with you for life and there is no recertification clause. Also, um, this course is India's only legally tenable course in low carb nutrition and metabolic health. So if you need to be a legally certified metabolic health coach, you need to be certified through DLive. We are India's only CPDSO UK accredited course with the global biggest 60 hours credit given to our course. We are the SMHP approved CMHE provider, the only ones from India again. Course gives you free access to the DLive forum that Hashil was just talking about right now which has 3,000 plus combined success stories, 2,000 plus original low-carb keto recipes, 50% of which are vegetarian, 200 plus podcast, largest content on low-carb nutrition, as I said. There is no recertification clause once you've done it, and you always remain a part of the D-Life community and family. That's why we don't call it just a community. It's a family. We are like family members. It's not that you, know, you do the course and you, you, know, you are left alone. This client hand holding all through all through your life, whenever you want it, even doctors post their queries and they get guidance from the mentors. So we have a robust forum of discussion and long threads on cases that are searchable. You can initiate a new thread and you know take all the help that you want. And 24-7 WhatsApp community where we have lots of fun bonding and learning of which Harshil and I both are a part. Harshil, so proud of the work that you're doing so proud of the things that you are achieving and you know the way doctors are approaching you to help them i hope more and more people reach out to you and i i wish you great success in whatever you do in future in the space of low carb nutrition and metabolic health anything I, else thank that you, you would want to, yeah anything else that you would want to say harshil no no i in fact, i think you know you've covered it really well you know in terms of what the course offers and what the what what someone do and, you know, again, lastly, think of it as an investment rather than an expense. So with that and uh, Harshil's um, enlightening words, uh, because he all, all already comes from a background of sports nutrition and he's a very well certified uh, D-Life member, but he had done his sports nutrition and still did his low-carb nutrition metabolic health. And that covers his practice. If ever he wants to practice, even now that covers his knowledge 360 degrees now with the D-Lab Diploma course. So, Harshil, thank you so much for taking time out on a sun, rainy Sunday, Monday, uh, Sunday uh, afternoon, Mumbai Sunday afternoon. It's really wet and wild here, but Harshil was traveling also. He made it on time. Thank you so much, Harshil. And uh, I'll see you again uh, with another course review video. This is Ira Sahai signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.